Good morning, how are we doing? I'm having a very deep red moment at the moment with like my swirls and my nails. I thought we'd do a little bit of a chatty, get ready with me, let's discuss skin, let's do makeup. Um, and also I had quite a few requests. I can't, I think it was on my most recent vlog. I'll link that in the corner for you. Um, there was quite a few comments that said, show us the wavy hair routine. <laughs> how are you getting? the curls in your hair and let me tell you it is not air drying at the moment because it's cold okay today it's nine degrees that's that's not cold cold but it's cold enough that i don't want to spend half a day <laughs> walking around the house with wet hair so i have a tool it's amazing i'm not sure i've actually shared it in a youtube I've definitely shared it on instagram back in the summer and it's a very you're going to look at this tool and be like absolutely not and then i'll show you what it does and you might be converted. I really love it. It turns my hair. I just, um, this is like second day hair. Blow dried my hair yesterday and just kind of wore it in a low pony. It's going to turn this into some lovely, kind of looks quite natural, beachy waves. And it takes five minutes. But firstly, let's discuss skin. This video is kindly sponsored by Skin and Me, who, like, they're amazing. <laughs> I always say that it's one of the brands that, like, everyone in my real life also recommends to me and I'm like yeah no I know I've been using skin for like two years now but especially since I've been having my skin you know my skin hasn't been super happy I've really dug into the service and just what they offer like this is what I've learned I've learned a lot about skin since kind of summer last year I'll tell you what I'll come close and try not to move around too much so you can see where we are currently at I as I'm talking I'll put some photos on the screen so you can kind of see my journey of where it's been over the last couple of months but i'd say since the summer i have learned so much about skin and what you're putting into your body as well as what you're putting on your body like how it just kind of all combines and also how every everything is so personal to you like what has worked for me might not work for other people whenever i talk about basically what's going on with my skin i really suffered with a lot of blemishes it kind of like that's where my issues sort of began like heavy on the blemishes heavier than it has ever been in my life I'm 34 I've never experienced blemishes like that it just felt they felt very cystic they felt really painful they were doing that thing where they were very under the skin they weren't coming to the surface so there wasn't really anything to squeeze but I was still trying to squeeze it like just very painful and every day it was like a new one was coming up so it kind of started there photo on the screen here of kind of where we began it was very blemishy and I think I then got into the routine of just try, like every single step of my route like over complicating my routine ultimately and making sure that every single step was very like acne blemish driven over exfoliating -y, like just basically ruined my skin barrier by like going ham on over exfoliation and then from that i got to a place where i was also dealing with perioral dermatitis i think that's how you say it um which is it looks a bit like really really tiny spots i've had it before um i had it back in lockdown um really really tiny little spots and very like sandpapery texture this is basically all of the redness that i've got around my nose a little bit here although i do feel like this is a bit more scarring um so that kind of came november time and then i'd say since the new year um i'm trying i'm trying new things with my psoriasis um but because of that i've got psoriasis on my face which is just like really <laughs> wow another thing although they kind of come and go they flare up they flare down um but like here 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 kind of more around the hairline section so actually i am really happy with my skin at the moment this is kind of the best that it's looked in a good six months and I do really feel like skin and me is such a huge part of that but like I said it it is so personal but actually that's where skin and me is really really good so I think it was November December time when the dermatologist made an appearance that I was like right I need to, I need to get in contact <laughs> I was like we need to speak to mission control here um so I sent a message to my skin and me team who it's just really clever. You're basically in direct contact with a person. You're sending them photos of your skin. You're, I mean, I was sending full on, <laughs> full on essays and they're coming back to you with their advice of things that you can do in your routine, how to simplify your routine and basically changing your daily doser, which if you haven't heard about it, like Skin and Me, 
is your daily dosa. It is your super simplified evening routine. It is personal to you. It is made to order. You basically go online, you fill out an online consultation and from that, they will work out the best formula for you. So obviously me going in, speaking to my team, telling them my concerns, they changed up my formula to make the best formulation for me. It's got my name on it, it's, it's just very cute. And it's just very handy. I mean, previously I've always liked it because it has just been very effective, quick, easy. Like I like that it was very simplified, just like one step evening routine. But now, obviously I still like it for that. I want my routine to be really quick, but I love that you've got that like, contact with experts with professionals who know what they're talking about and it's taken the guesswork out of me trying like i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i was trying to work out like what should i be using what's the best thing to do and ultimately they know what the best thing to do is so they've given me advice on other things i should be using in my routine what i should cut out and basically i am just keeping it really really simple so in the evening i'll put like a little overlay of me using it here the click on the daily doser is one of the most satisfying things and that is also great because it's giving you just the right amount i know from personal experience when you're having these sorts of issues with your skin you're, you're just piling it on you're putting everything on your face and hoping for the best but this just gives you the perfect amount so all i'm doing is removing my makeup cleansing then i'm applying this in the areas where i need it leaving it about 10 minutes and then applying a really simple like no nonsense moisturizer just over the top and that that's my evening routine, like evening routine done. So yeah, I'm really impressed. I've been using this new formula now for almost two months and I can see the difference. It's like one day I woke up and was like, oh my gosh, it's getting better, the redness. In fact, now it's just redness that is left rather than texture and redness. Like now it's just the redness that it's working on. And that is just in two months. It, oh, It's just been so incredible. It really is like this combined with obviously like supplements and the changes that I'm making in my lifestyle, trying to de-stress, all of these things, it all comes together. But I just love that this is like one of those building bricks that is just so easy. It just boop, boop through the letterbox once a month. And the best bit is they've given me a brilliant discount code. It is Anna Edit Feb. I'll put it on the screen now. It means that you get your first daily doser for $4.99 and then you get all subsequent daily doses for $24.99 instead of $29.99. So you're not only just getting a great introductory deal, you're also getting a great deal on Skin and Me go forward for as long as you want. How great is that? But um, yeah, I thought I'd just do like a bit of a skin update and thank you so much for all of the recommendations that you've been leaving as well um i've really tried to reduce sugar in my diet i think i was talking about this in the vlog um i love sugar i really really love sugar <laughs> but since reducing my intake i've really noticed a difference in my skin as well like obviously having lots of water probiotics prebiotics omega-3 i'm taking like it truly is i'm trying to do like the full 360 approach um let's do a little bit of an everyday makeup. Um, if you missed my um, makeup collection video, how old school, but everyone was like, yeah, old school YouTube. <laughs> I'm here for it. Um, I'll link that in the corner for you. Um, I spoke through my everyday makeup bag in that, but I thought today I'd put it all on my face. So the first thing is the Ilia um, Super Skin Skin Tint. I use this in the shade ST6. And even though, it's weird, like even though I saw a comment today and it was like, Anna is drinking tea, like what have I missed? I'm drinking slippery elm bark tea. It's disgusting. I don't want to drink this tea, but it's supposedly good for psoriasis. So like I said, <laughs> I'm really trying everything these days. I do not find it a pleasant experience. Like it's, it's so hot. <laughs> Oh, and if I'm like out and about, I'll have, I'll have a mint tea, but I just find it very, I just find it very hot. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was saying that. Despite the fact that my skin, you know, it's probably the least happy it's been ever. Um, I'm, I'm really liking a lesser coverage than before. I actually put my Makeup by Mario foundation in my giveaway pile because I was like, putting it on, it just felt so cakey. <laughs> really cakey and just like really full coverage and i'm really enjoying a tint i'm loving a tinted moisturizer these days i still own a handful of foundations for 
you know, events or those moments where I might want something a little bit more full coverage. But actually, I think I want my skin to look like skin. And in order to do that, it's all about light, creamy textures. I'm just doing a little bit of the Ilia. I think this is called the True Skin Serum Concealer. I use it in the shade 1.75 and just sort of pressing that into any areas of redness. It's quite um, it's quite yellowy, so it kind of cancels those out. Okay, cheeks. So, I mean, I've been doing the same cheek routine now for a year, like literally a year. The Makeup by Mario, Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Light Medium with my Beauty Pie um, angled cheek brush and just applying a little bit of that on the cheeks. Um, I was responding to comments last night on my makeup collection video. Maybe it was on the vlog as well. There's a really cool part of the back end of YouTube. Um, and I guess if you're a viewer, maybe you don't know this, but when I'm responding to comments, they all like, you know, come up on one big page and next to the commenter's name, it has a little icon. It has like a little um, kind of YouTube icon if they're subscribed to your channel. Um, and when you click on that icon, you can kind of like hover over that icon, it'll tell you how long they've been subscribed to your channel for. And number one, a lot of people who comment aren't subscribed. That's totally cool. Like, but maybe you want to, because then, then you won't miss the thing. And um, I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. But from the people who are subscribed, I was like hovering over, it was like 10 years, hovering over another one, nine years, hovering over another one, seven years, hovering over another one, five years. Like it was, it was mad and I just feel so grateful that you're still here watching my videos because just like 10, 10 years, like so my life, like if you had told me this would be my life like 10 years ago, I'd be like not on your Nelly, like just so, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of crazy. Like a lot has changed. I'm 34 now, but I was 20 when I started my blog, like, it's just kind of wild to me and it, it really like brought at home that there's really wonderful supporters of what I do who have been supporting it for so long. So just, just to say thank you, but also if you're new, I won't hold that against you either. Um, feel free to subscribe so you don't, you don't miss anything. Um, but yeah, I was just like, that is so cool. I also wonder maybe, maybe people don't have YouTube accounts as much anymore. Maybe people are just like seeing a link on Instagram and like following that. That'd be kind of interesting. Do you still log in to a YouTube or are you just like watching things when you see them be posted somewhere else? I'm quite hot on watching my YouTube. Like I love my recommendations. I feel like it knows me really well. Um, but also my subscriptions, like they're my OG. I feel like I say OG in every single video. Um, I'm gonna get that eyebrow pencil because I feel like I just need to do the little whew. Uh, I just used the Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel, which is so, I, I really like it. I really like that gel. And then this is from Hourglass. That's all I needed to do. Lots of things have changed, but I still don't want to show you how I actually curl my eyelashes. <laughs> Although, can we take a moment for the lash serum? Like, it's so, it's so good. I, I'll show you, I'll show you which one it is. It's this one. It's the Revita Lash Cosmetics, Revita Lash Advanced, but the sensitive one. The normal one gives me pink eye. The sensitive one doesn't. I can use it every day without irritation. It's so, oh my gosh, it's so good. I, it's really expensive. And the only time I've ever found it on sale was during Black Friday. So I bought three and I was like, hopefully that can, I don't know, get me through the year. You know what? I feel like I've got a little bit too much makeup on. I'm just gonna, sometimes I do this. I like just rub it off. <laughs> just rub it off with my fingers a little bit. I can get a bit carried away when I'm filming, you know? Okay, eyes. I might just do an eyeshadow. I might do Max Over just for the old days. And I used it the other day and was like, this is a really nice colour. I was on I was on something back then. I'm just blending that all over with the Makeup by Mario EF2 brush, which I realised when I filmed my makeup collection video is the only eye brush that I own. <laughs> but honestly, it's all I need. Like this is all I do to my eyes every day. I mean, if you've been here for 10 years, then you will remember that even just wearing eyeshadow to me was a really big deal. I didn't even I didn't even wear eyeshadow back in the day. Do I want to do a mascara. Yeah, go on then, just a little bit. Long calm, miss your big applied to the lashes, but then brushed through with a spoolie. That's my current 
my current routine. Do you know what it's going? When I'm filming this video, you probably won't see this till next weekend. Um, but on the week that I'm filming this video, it's half term, which means basically like the school holidays. There's no sewing class tonight. I'm so gutted. Mark was like, oh, do you think your sewing class is on? Because it's half term. And I was like, I hadn't even thought about that, but you're probably right. No, it's not. And I double checked and it's not. I'm, oh, I was really looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm going to get so sad when it's over. I just put on the Summer Fridays lip balm, but I might actually put on some of that Hermes rosy lip tint in rose tan actually. I put this on in the uh, makeup video that I did and was like, yeah, it looks good. I like it. I feel like it's a bit more subtle than some of their other ones. Some of their other ones are quite like, whoa, bright pink. Um, but that's more like a subtle pink. Right. Okay, makeup done. Let me grab the hair tool. So all I've done is brush through it today. I did actually put a little bit of dry shampoo in overnight because I don't know, I don't know what's going on with my hair. It's getting greasy so quickly and I mean it, I have to do every other day I can't do <laughs> every day I do not have the time so all I do is split my hair into two and then I just take that top section put it up in a little top knot situation and then I take the hair that's down and just put it into two bits I've got one on each side I mean this is very similar to what I was doing when I would use my hair straighteners to curl it but I just feel like you get more of a curly wave rather than like a straight wave than using straighteners. I think I put this on my left hand. A little heat <laughs> proof glove moment. But you know what, you're gonna need this. You're gonna need this. And then this is the tool. Um, someone used this on me on a shoot, a stylist used this. I was like, oh, I really want like SJP kind of hair, like just big, big, big. Um, and she was like, cool, okay, that's cool. And then got out this and I was like, Pfft. But the great thing with this is you can use really big chunks of hair around it. If you just use a big chunk, you're not getting a super tight curl. Um, so all I do is I do three curls in each of these bottom sections and I'm just taking it, wrapping it round, holding it for like 10 seconds, if that, then letting go and you've got yourself this curl like it's honestly so quick so easy and i just repeat that so i do three curls on this side and then three curls on the other side i mean there probably is a more precise way of doing this but i'm i just do it so so quickly so that's that side done i i don't feel like it looks the best directly when it's done you kind of have to leave it to cool for a minute we're in no rush and then i just do other side i find that for the thinner bits like at the front i don't need to hold it on for as long okay so <laughs> this is what you're left with just take like a, a scrunchie and then just get that out the way and then do exactly the same on the top half i don't do this in three sections i just do this in two sections so now i do the top half and i bring half the head to this side half the head to the other side curl the front section and then do another two. Um, do you know what is sad news? I'm coming to the end of Real Housewives of New York I'm on season 11. And I feel, I feel like the glory is like, I feel, oh my gosh, like what is the best season? It's just <laughs> every evening Mark is like, I don't know how you find it relaxing watching this before bed, but it's, it's just, <laughs> it's what I watch to get my melatonin going every evening. Honestly, my Hey You subscription that is good money spent each month for me and um yeah i'm coming to the end well i think it's like 13. I've, I've got a few more seasons but i think i think i've watched like the good seasons um but yeah i i feel like i could quite easily just turn my instagram account into like a real housewife <laughs> stan account i'm obsessed <laughs> i think i might do atlanta next do i do atlanta next or do i do New Jersey next. I've already done um, Beverly Hills, haven't watched the new series, not really like floating my boat and I've been very knee deep in Roni. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, what do I do next? Do I do New Jersey? Do I do Atlanta? Answers in the comments would be um, greatly appreciated. <laughs> okay, so we're looking a bit like a poodle, but that is okay. I'm just gonna give it a second to cool down. Let me just tidy up a moment. Okay, I started shaking it out, forgetting that I was supposed to be filming this. So, I mean, what I basically do is just, just shake it out. 
to shake it out and then I feel like you get a bit more of this like natural big wavy texture. I'll do it to the other side as well. When it's long and wavy like this I'm like oh maybe I should keep the length but also the length is just it's taking like a long time to dry it's taking a long time to wash I think there's just there's a little bit that needs coming off of it I mean if we push it all to the front maybe that's a bit extreme there you go that is how I'm getting kind of hope hopefully natural ish looking waves with that wand and you know what it stays in my hair so well my hair notoriously doesn't hold a curl very well I think like a Dyson air app just wouldn't really work on me um but this I'm like this actually stays pretty good in my hair and still looks quite nice like the next day as well so um yeah there you go hopefully that answers your questions on the wavy hair a good old chat about skin and a little everyday makeup as well this feels very old school I'm very much like leaning into the old school YouTube videos. I mean, who knows, maybe a what's in my bag will be next week. No, you know what I think, what I might do for next week is a bit of a like January, February combined monthly favorites. I mean, these are the videos that I personally like watching, just very, someone just sat down, just chatting about their favorites and it's almost very podcasty. It's very like, I'll have it on but I'll be in the shower, I'll have it on and I'll be getting ready. And it's just, it's like company. <laughs> so if you just want a bit of company uh, for next week, I'm thinking of doing, a little um, makeup favorites. And I think, I'm sure there were a few comments that were like, yeah, we wanna see favorites videos. So I will sort that out for you. But if there's any other old school YouTube recommendations, just pop them below and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, but thank you so much for skinning me, for partnering with me on this video. And also just being like, I genuinely pay for the service and it's been invaluable to me. And it's just, it's kind of nice to know there's a professional holding your hand and you're getting the right active ingredients at the levels that you need that are effective like just all of the science behind it I really um yeah I'm so grateful that they have sent me something that really seems to be working so anyway I'll put the offer on the screen again Anna edit Feb and that gets you your first daily dose of the $4.99 and then subsequent daily doses for $24.99 instead of $29.99 and to me that is a great price to pay to have something this effective like in your hands in your bathroom cabinet and delivered to you. You don't even need to leave the house. <laughs> I'm very lazy these days. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It is long, so I'm gonna love you and leave you. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye.